Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 6 of Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. This time the title of the episode is Scars, and we are back this week with two more episodes for PLL Original Sin. Um, so far the show is going pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, we are getting a lot of answers, and we're getting a lot of, like, really, really cool things. Um... You know, because we, we're getting the connections, we're getting, you know, it just doesn't feel like... It, they're happening very fast <laughs> as well, so we'll see what they have in the store for us and, and, and how this episode is going to, you know, uh, unveil, I guess. Um, previous episode, they... Oh, they got a call, a call from someone, right? Uh, that said that wants to talk about Angela Waters because Imogen's idea is that everything is connected, right? What happened to Angela? What happened to her mom? What probably happened to Kelly or Karen? We don't know, uh, or we are supposed to not know. Although they have said that it, it is Karen, we don't know. Okay, and Farron has this whole thing, and then. A, on the previous episode, killed Tyler, right? So lots of things are happening, and uh, we're ready. I mean, this show is scary. It's, it's, it's a completely different vibe from the original show. There was more teeny teen drama, right, with the mystery of A. This one is like, you're about to die. This is more a slasher, you know, type of film, horror type of show. So I, I am loving it. I am loving it. So I was like, I was, honestly, I was one of those that when they announced that they were going to have um, a PLL reboot of some, some sort, I was like, do we really need it? <laughs> like, and also it hasn't, like, we haven't had that much time between the original show and this one. So do we really need it? Honestly, we did need it. Like, that show is amazing. The girls are amazing. I'm falling in love with the characters. There's a lot of things. Mouse, I don't know what the hell is happening. Uh, so, yeah. A lot of shit is happening. And, like, I'm loving I'm loving the show. The, the, the characters, the actresses, everyone. So, yes. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. And you can go to Patreon right now and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And yeah, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 6 of PLL Original Sin. Here we go. <laughs> You want to party with a bunch of meatheads and their girlfriends? Oh, no. Oh, it was no. Turn. Oh, no. I didn't think that I had. Then he. Oh, my God. He was on top of me. Who? I'm going to kill whoever it was. Was it Tyler? I don't know who it was. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Gabby, anyone until... Until right now? Right now. Oh, I... besties. I love this. We love this. You know, because you... You, know. you you have a support. That's, that's what I love, you know? That that she it, she trusts Imogen so much that she's willing to, to talk to her about something so awful as that for her, right? So I'm glad that she has someone to talk about it. But like then Imogen also said that something happened to her. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, I don't like this. Would that be okay? Of course. Of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh we love them. We love them. Lives at a train yard. If oh, w wonderful. Oh, we love friends! We love friends! I mean... Yes, I love... We love bonding! We love girlfriends helping each other, you know? That, that's just... That's very powerful, I, I, in my opinion. Terrible. As it is. Something that... Okay, uh, uh, that they also need to be extremely careful not to, like... You know, use just as a, as a plot device, but actually to show us... 
a reality that a lot of women go through. Um, but, you know, it, it is about, I hope, about, you know, the bonding, about them, you know, having each other. But it's such a tragic story that both of them, that for both of them, you know, that it happened to both of them. Oh, I don't like it. Wait, I hate it. I hate it. It was, was it, was it, what is his name? The, uh, uh, Karen's boyfriend? Was it him? Oh, Jesus Christ. Was it Chip? Oh my God. Oh my God. Imagine if it was Chip. <gasps> or if it was Wes for some reason. Like he was like lurking or something. I don't know. I'm afraid now. I was, it's because I told her not to. Oh, how big of you. How big of you, Kelly or Karen, whoever you are. Hey, you didn't text me back after. Oh. 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 <laughs> I've just got too much going on at home right now. Does he say field in the back? But spring semester, I'm all yours. Oh. What? Did she say no? Oh, did she say thank you, but no thank you? Wait. Because I, I read feels. Or is it just feels? Or is it like feels? Or something like that. I don't know where I read it. Sandy. Oh, here. Track and field. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Emily. <laughs> he fractured her foot during it. Hello. <gasps> don't tell me that she's about to get killed. Oh, the twisted camera. I don't like that. To Corey Bryant. Oh my god! What is that? Is it a heart? <gasps> some scars you see, you, but some you don't, but they all hurt. <gasps> what is that? What was that? Oh, that's a. Oh, okay. Do you like this one, Angela? Got it. Oh, Dio Mio, why are they like this? Why are they like this? Whose idea was it to do that? Whose idea was it to, to get her a tattoo? And see, she has the A because she's Angel Angela Waters. And like, on PLL, we all thought that Allison at one point was A because A for Allison, right? But... Uh, yeah, but Marlene didn't follow, follow with that. But anyways. Um, thing is... That it could be someone related to Angela. Or is Angela herself that actually didn't die? I don't know. <laughs> A lot of people come back from the dead on PLL. On the original one, right? Oh my god. They're actually kind of cute, both of them. I mean, here's my main ship. Who am I lying? You oh, uh, the f you um, scary man! Don't do that! Don't why? Why do they do that here? God damn! Yes. It's warmer. Yeah. No. No. Do you guys have a weapon? Honestly, I will have a weapon. No, thank you. We're good. <laughs> Come on! He just so, called himself Crazy yeah. Joe. Okay, and he lives in the rail tracks. And he just scared the shit out of us. So no, keep the door open. Joe. She but just turned her head and took her away from uh, me. Okay, A, hello. They adopted her. Turned her in. Showed up to the school one day with a butcher knife. Oh! Oh my god. What was she there for? Revenge. What do you think? Did she... To carve something? Stab someone? She tried to. To an asylum. The Radley Sanitarium. <gasps> oh, Radley! In Rosewood. In Rosewood? I, I know Radley, but Radley is now a hotel. But Radley holds many secrets, right? Okay. Another connection to a original PLL. Yep. Then we're going to Rosewood. To the Radley Sanitarium to find Rosewaters, hopefully. Really? Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, they're going to Rosewood! 
I'm actually happy about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where'd you disappear? But isn't Rose isn't the Radley didn't became a hotel that is owned by or managed by Hannah's mom? Another connection with Hannah? You know, we had Caleb and now Hannah. And now Radley. Mm-hmm. Stop. 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 Just stop. Come on, you beast the girls like it rough. Oh my god! That might have been my This that boy is trouble, in my opinion. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh boy, does he just does that? I hate that. But are we sure we can trust a man who lives in a train car? Very important Stellar question. Point. And yeah. just ask a question, is there any universe in which a person of interest? Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, he hasn't tried to kill you down. guys, like, not looking like it, like, hey, but he's very tall. And he seems like he hates your moms. So, hey, you know? And why will he call himself Crazy Joe? The Radley Sanders. Rouse. <laughs> I am so shipping this. Ew, no. Mash needs to be canon. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Mash needs to be canon. Yeah, but also nervous. Are they already? Okay, please don't make her talk like Veronica. If they say Endgame, I will die. <laughs> if they say, they just they just said I ship and like canon, but like. <laughs> Other than Twitter, no one actually talks like that. Maybe I talk like that, but like I do reaction videos, like you know, it's fine. But like, <laughs> please don't let them, any one of them, say it. We're Endgame, cause I will choke. <laughs> Guess it's just you and me. Yeah, babes. Is Thelma or Louise? Um, she has scoliosis. Oh and, my god! Like a crazy scar on her back. Oh my god, Kelly! In that case, I'm even more impressed. <laughs> the backfire! Ironic! <laughs> oh my god! I love this! 90s vibe! Oh, okay, uh, I love it. Ooh. We're back to Rosewood, guys! Let me see it, let me see it! Oh, there we go. Don't remember. No, yes, it is the Radley. We're back in Rosewood, babies. I don't remember this looking like oh that. Oh my god. I could direct you to is Eddie Lamb. Our Where is he? Manager. He's worked in this building for years. Eddie is alive? Wasn't he dead? No, he just escaped, right? And, th and then what? Then he come back? Okay, okay. We talk to him. Cash, okay? <laughs> oh, Imogen! But like, you're supposed to live in town, right? We remember the bar, right? The restaurant. That's what we remember, right? The hotel rooms as well, kinda, because like, who lived there? Sarah, right? Lived there. I think. I think, what is the name of the guy that got decapitated? I think he lived there as well. Um, but before we have, we were able to see the bar and the, the restaurant, right? That's why it looks different now because this is a reception, right? So they didn't actually recreate the other part because they wouldn't be able to get there because they are teenagers. I'm guessing, I don't know. Okay, girls! Oh, oh, look at that! You're so cute! You're so cute! They, they are so cute! Oh, hell yeah! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> we love a friendship! We love a friendship! Possible ship! Oh, damn! Holy geeky! Do it! Go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, she wants to rest! It's okay, you know, to have your own hobbies, you know. They're really cute. They're really cute. Oh, look at you. Oh, fuck. Hey, did you Mouse, what's up? Who's this? A crease. Um... Hi there. I'm Mouse's dad. No, you're not. 
Yeah, he's my dad. This fucking... But, honey, like, Miles was getting herself in such a messed up situation. It was bound to happen that someone wouldn't want to let go of that. I am fine right where I am. See? Told you. Fact. She was gonna get a reason. Like, that was going to be her reason not to go. I knew it. But, like, this is no one's fault other than hers. Because her sobriety is so solely on her, right? If she doesn't want to hurt her daughter, then she should go, right? But, you know, addicts, it's very, you know, they're very selfish because of their addiction. And right now what, what Noah is trying to do is very codependent and it's very, you know, enabling her behavior. She needs to let her, you know, do that on her own. I mean... She's helping her as much as she can, but if she's not willing to accept who she is and what is happening and how is it that she needs help, she can't do much, sadly. I got a job. Damn. <gasps> Ezra's books? Ew! Don't go in there! <laughs> Ezra has a... Is it the same Ezra? It has to be the same Ezra. Ezra's books? Ew. Ew. Oh my god, do not go inside, girl. <laughs> I'm telling you, save yourself. Oh god, is it- Oh my god, imagine if Arya is there. Well, will Arya be there, though? No, is she, she was still with him, right? I don't know, I don't remember. I think he was, it's just that they mentioned a few things on the perfectionist that I don't know. Beach boy? Oh my god. Oh my god. What do you say? My treat. Oh, she I was. Think I'm just gonna read my book. What the fuck is she? Look, I don't trust anyone in Rosewood. <laughs> Let's be real. I was gonna say, what happened? Henry? What are you. Okay, I don't. Oh my gee! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! I'm Kelly! I'm Kelly! Oh, what? He, his beef was with Karen? Are you actually Kelly? Because I will lie my ass off. Because, like... Farron did said that someone actually try to push Karen so if like putting like the idea of maybe Karen is the one in danger and if you are Karen then someone is coming for you right so that's why she says I'm Kelly right or she's actually Kelly I don't know <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute they are so cute together like the chemistry between them but like actually you know Eddie tends to like run every time he has some answers he's always like oh eddie lamb knows and then eddie lamb is nowhere to be found so i don't i'm not trusting that he will actually be there oh they offered me a job to help with diane is mr long did they recast him how long has it been that ain't that ain't eddie lamb that ain't mm. Eddie Lamb. This is Eddie Lamb. I know him. His ring. So that who is that? He's supposed to be in his forties. And bull. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Diane, Diane, Eddie Lamb. Is that Eddie Lamb Sr.? Because that ain't Eddie Lamb. What, didn't Eddie Lamb died? By the way, no, he didn't, right? He just escaped, right? Let's see his friends, employer, relationships, occupation. He's still, he's still alive, very much alive. Okay. 
I don't know, but I I don't think he's dead. But the transition. I had him until the asylum was shut down. And then? Then what happened? Some of the patients were sent to the Sisters of Quiet Mercy over in Riverdale. Others... Everything is connected! Now you're connecting Riverdale to PLL to PLL Original Sin! If they become witches by season 3, I will choke, okay? I will kill, okay? <laughs> the swear, if they become witches, if they become witches, oh my god! <laughs> This is insane! What are you doing? So now you are like, what, are you gonna what? Are you gonna do a crossover between Riverdale and PLL Original Sin? You do not do that. Please, for the love of God, leave them separate. <laughs> oh my, oh, they will be cool, but oh my God. Imagine, imagine Cheryl coming in and she's like, you know, oh, pray tell. Cause like, she sometimes talks like that. A mom sees, oh my god, I will die. Dog. <laughs> but everything is connected. Why does she have a tooth as a necklace? It's like Rose were. Waters was. Oh my dear lord. Raped? Right before she jumped to her death. Uh, according to Rose. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <gasps> she didn't need the surgery. Upon review, the patient confirmed my license as a given fair and sage. The mild. What? The doctor voice against! <gasps> Her mom did it because she wanted to. Oh my god. And the mild nature of the. Oh my god. Continue waiting. Oh my god. She would. That's very true, sweetie. And I can't keep fucking enabling her. I'm the Oprah meme. <sighs> right? Who's the sixth person? The so actual Angela? mystery oh. person out no, there who be. visited Angela's mom at the oh my god sweetheart and that's basically all I remember until um I woke Shh. up in pain oh my, my god was sunny. I got pregnant oh my god <sighs> my heart breaks Imogen Do you think it could have been the same guy? Serial rapist? Maybe. I don't know. I, I just love their friendship. I just want to say that I love their friendship. I know how strong it makes them, you know, each other. It makes us stronger, you know? Because they have each other. They have each other's back. They understand each other. It's not, it, it, it wasn't necessary to the story, right? To, and that's why I hope that they don't use it just like a plot device and like, just to like, you know, um, because they didn't, absolutely didn't need to tell that type of story. But at the same time, if they do it right, it's very much needed because, um, oh man, because it, it's, it's, It's like right. It's it's it, it happens so much, and it's not so out of mind to think that it could be the same guy. That it could, uh, you know, uh, that even if it's not the same guy, that it could happen to both of them, you know, in the same town, and that the world is a fucked up place, you know. So, uh, but I really did like the the their bond i feel like it's getting stronger you know between them so yeah oh, sorry i'm late all good in an unrelenting quest for perfection tonight i dance for all girls who have been scarred inside and out 
Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Creeper Steve is there. But I missed. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Joke, you put the entire cast of Center Stage in the shade. <laughs> oh, no. That's so cute. You guys. She's at the hospital right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was it A? Was it A? Or was it just because she was having a breakdown? Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode six of PLL Original Sin titled Scars. And, you know, they. This episode was really much dealing about the scars that most of the girls, if not all of them, have both, you know, internal and external type of scars, you know. And I I think it was a really good episode overall for the, you know, for the, um, to move the characters forward, you know, uh, to get to know more of the story of the other characters, you know, without actually, you know, without not, without just putting characters aside. I think that all the girls had their opportunity to shine on this episode. And I like the pace and I think it was just, it was good because we had Imogen and Tabby. We had uh, Mouse's storyline. We had Noah and we had Farron, you know, so it was very much an equal type of thing and that's something that I really really love uh and, and not not gonna say that that didn't happen on on PLL like I'm telling you PLL had the I don't know advantage or disadvantage of having 23 24 episodes per season so there were a lot of bottle episodes and a lot of bullshit as well <laughs> um but the thing is that there were episodes that were centered on one character, you know, specifically. Because they had the time to do a one episode for every single one of the girls, you know. Um, and episodes that nothing, literally nothing happened, you know. And it was all, the, all about ships and who kiss who and the longest night in TV history, the night that Allie went missing. You know, so I am liking the fact that um, on this show, since it's a very short season, they're t trying to keep things, you know, in. But they're revealing a lot. So I'm kind of, like, worried on, like, the fact that this is this is also the creator of Riverdale. <laughs> An another show with, like, 300 seasons, well, six seasons and, like, I don't know how, like, 100 and plus episodes. You know, so um, sometimes, you know, the quality doesn't last too long, you know, and I, I really wish that now that they made the connection between the original PLL, PLL original sin and Riverdale, they don't go batshit crazy and they don't start with like, oh, we're going back. Or if they start singing, <laughs> I don't know if I want a musical episode here and like Roberto is like, any chance he gets, he does it. Although there's a lot of less shirtless men on this show than it, than it is on Riverdale, right? So that's a plus, I guess. Although we have seen a few asses as well. I don't know, but the thing is, I don't want the bad things <laughs> that come from Riverdale to go to PLL because some to Original Sin because I, I'm actually loving the show loving the show so I'm kind of like being protective of it even though it has been six episodes but I'm getting very protective of the show you know so yeah anyways um we have who do we talk to about Farron I think Farron uh Farron's story was very it was, it was the, the well every single story kind of was a related in a way but I think that Farron is is like you understand or kind of, yeah, understand a little bit more about A, I guess. Because as much as he seems to be going against, you know, the girls, he really isn't. It's, it, it's, it is very much about 
their moms. They're, they're not really target. He's not really targeting the girls, but rather opening their eyes to who their moms really are, right? What they actually did to Angela to kind of like maybe help the people in Millwood understand what really went down with Angela, what really happened to her. Because to everyone, she just killed herself. That's it, right? On this episode, we find out that she did not just kill herself I mean I mean we don't we are not sure if she actually did kill herself I don't know um but we have that we have also the fact that she was raped before and like we know that the 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 girls were like ignoring her and it was like okay we're gonna pretend like she doesn't exist today right it was that type of prank for Angela that day, you know, and they weren't there for her at all. If that actually happened, you know, that's what the mom claims it happened. Um, but they wrote her off as like, nah, she's just insane. And she had a mental breakdown. Let's just ship her off to Rosewood. Right. So in my opinion, I think that that's a point. I mean, a have has come face to face with Imogen, has not killed her, right? She has. He has come face to face. Well, not face to face, but he was there when Tabby came down to the uh, um, to the basement, right? He had an encounter with Noah with that crazy, very good uh, sequence where he's chasing her down. Yet he did not kill her. I mean, it doesn't. It didn't look like he wasn't trying to kill her. It looked like he was. But after that, he didn't jump, right? He didn't follow her there. And he made her call and actually, you know, get her mom fired, right? It, it, it really seems it is about justice with them, right? And then you have, now you have Farron, right? Who's also helping, Kinda. We haven't had mouse with a kind of thing, or have we? I mean, she has seen him. They all have saw- seen him, right? Um, but yeah, everyone has had some sort of contact with a. But a hasn't attacked them. Rather, gift. All although he did attack one bully, and he said one bully down, five more to go. Maybe because in his mind, since, you know, he's finding out and, like, getting to know the girls, he realizes that they are not bullies as their moms were, right? And he's seeing that, right? That they they are not and that that he needs to punish the bad people, right? And that's why he killed Karen because Karen was a bully. Um, I don't know if what Farron told... Kelly, it's actually it's actually something that saved her life because it seemed like, you know, A was like, are you really Karen or are you Kelly, right? And he was going to go all out and killing her until Kelly starts saying, I'm Kelly, I'm Kelly, I'm Kelly, right? Um, which I don't know if it's like confirmation of like, hey, look, she was traumatized and that's why she's, she said you know, the truth, and that is who she truly is. I just, I think that since Farrah warned her about the fact that someone actually came after Karen, and if she was Karen, she is in danger, right? Since she warned her, maybe now she, you know, she was, that's why she said, I'm Kelly, I'm Kelly, I'm Kelly, right? So I don't know, but I think that Farrah's story was very important in understanding A's motive, Right? Uh, Especially with the moms. Now, Dabby is dead, who is Imogen's mom. Uh, Maybe the one who felt the most guilty about the things that happened. But the other ones were enabling that behavior because they follow what she said. And, like, they were extremely mean. And they were, like, they made her get a tattoo. Like, and honestly, I feel so bad for Angela because, like, you know, that that necessity of, of... 
of being part of a clique, you know, uh, and, and like be part of the, the popular group and things like that. It's something that a lot of people go through, you know, and like you want to be part of the popular girls group and things like that. Um, and like all they did was just traumatize a poor girl, you know, make her go through a lot of things. So it's just so, it's just so sad. Right, and the fact that she is was so naive, right, so gullible, like she believed them, like time and time again, they pull pranks on her, and like, oh, go through the dark shit, right, and like we're gonna be here for you. They weren't get the tattoo. She walks away. Corey was this time, and like. It, it continues to happen and it's so freaking sad, right? To watch and to witness all of that. Um, so yeah, I, I just, it's, it's insane. So do I believe the mom, what the mom said? Probably. I mean, she got to have a source, but you know, they're writing her off as just crazy. But why did she, oh, that's why she went to the boys, uh table instead of the girl's table because someone actually raped uh her daughter right honestly I, I i i don't blame her i will be as as far off as she will be right so yeah um but they they, they said that she's still alive and they left it open as like she's somewhere Maybe she's leading this A-team, you know, to try to get revenge on her daughter, right? And, or maybe there is a brother that is doing all the dirty work for Angela's mom, right? I, I honestly don't know. Um, but that, it, how long has it been from the original story from PLL... I mean, Radley is now a hotel, so it has to be past the last season, right? Because Radley's a hotel now. I, I really thought they were going to go with Imogen and, and Tabby going, like, underneath the hotel and, like, into the, like, probably the corridors that were not made into, you know, into fancy um, uh, rooms and things like that. I thought they were going to... They were really going to go to, like, that dark uh, Radley place, but no. Uh, but it was nice to see Eddie Lamb. I mean, that's not Eddie Lamb unless he got old or unless he is Eddie Lamb Sr. Or he's totally just, you know, took Eddie Lamb's um, name and he's just using it, Right? I don't know, but he has access and like he has, I don't know. I really thought he was going to just walk away and leave them with something because that is Eddie Lamb for you guys, you know. Uh, he did try to help, he did help Spencer, I think. He helped Mona, right? Um, but oftentimes when, when it was the most necessary, necessary he just disappeared, right? They never said that they actually killed him, but yeah. Still, <laughs> I am a little bit like um, confused about the recasting, you know, and they make him older. So what what is, what is that about? I honestly don't know. I don't know if they have talked outside the show why they recast him or why they didn't de they recast someone, you know, closer to his age, right? So I don't know. That was kind of fishy. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, like I was saying, I was talking about fair. I don't know how to, the hell I got to any lamb. But anyways, Farron. I like her story. You know, and Corey, right? Oh my God. Like the fact that she looks for perfection, right? And she dared to like she didn't got the tattoo because she didn't want to maybe corrupt her body with, you know, something, you know, so precious for her. But 
she did do that to Angela. And then not only that, you know, she, her daughter had scoliosis, which was mild, apparently, and that they were going to do treatment, right? Before doing the, the, the surgery, but the mom actually requests the surgery, uh, because for her, you know, her daughter needed to be perfect. And like for, uh, for every mom, I guess, you know, you want the best for your, I mean, for your kids. And like, when you see them for the first time, it's like, you know, that they're going to be great. And like you, those are, you know, all your hopes and dreams for most parents, right? Uh, it is completely wrong when we take over, right? And we try to live through them. That is the most awful thing a parent can do. Uh, it might have to do with some trauma that the mom has or something like that, but it's just gets to a point where you have to cut that generational trauma, right? Um, but sometimes you're not even aware that you're carrying it that, right? So, um, but she, her daughter had that and the mom, right, was uh, like, we need to make her perfect. So she got a surgery. And now she's like, okay, you're beautiful and amazing. But like that scar, we have to remove it. And like, pretty sure the mom knew everything about the surgery, what it will involve, you know, pain and multiple surgeries and how delicate it was. And like, honestly, it doesn't feel like it's worth it, right? But the mom is like, you will be more beautiful. You will be stronger, right? You will be stronger. And like that just diminished Farron's life as to like, you are not beautiful and you are not strong. So we need to get you to do that. So I am glad that she owned up to her body in the exact same way that it is and loving her body and her scars, you know, um, and I think that's just, I think that was something that it was beautiful, in my opinion. Now, the mom was really, I don't know if she was, like, just upset about the fact that her daughter and, like, everyone could see her scar. Or if it was because, you know, Farron was calling her out. Probably a bit of both. And, like, embarrassment and, like, you know, whatever. And she got into a car accident. Could the car accident be a trying to, you know, trying to kill her? Probably, right? But, like, wouldn't it raise suspicious if, like, Imogen's mom is dead and now Farron's mom is dead? Like, and all of them are getting threats and it's just, like, I don't know if they're gonna do that, if they're gonna make the circle a lot smaller with the original girls from, ni from 1999. I don't know, but, oh my god. Um... Then we have, of course, Imogen and Tabby's story, which is very similar. You know, it's very similar. Both of them have the same experience, right? Um, which is so fucked up. It is just, oh God, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even want to think about it. For a minute, I thought, okay, whoever did this to, to, um, to Tabby, it could be, it could be, uh, um, what's the name of the guy? Greg, right? It could be Greg. He was there, right? Tyler allegedly wasn't there. Sean potentially was there, right? And, like, Sean so far is, like, all good. So, I don't know. And it could be Chip. Like, because Chip was really mad. That she was just ditch ditching, you know, work to go and party with with the jocks, right? And Karen was there. Either Karen or Kelly were there. Karen, because that was Greg. I, I, who knows? Thing is that um, Karen, no, Tabby, right? She got dizzy and it was too much and she thought... Not something is happening to me. And instead of asking for help, right? She just walks away from the bonfire. And, you know, someone uh, attacks her. She doesn't remember who she is. Um, probably because she was drugged, right? Um, probably also because maybe 
her brain is blocking that image out for her so she doesn't get hurt sometimes it happens um but then you have that the same thing happened to Imogen right someone spiked the, the the drink and then she woke up uh on the beach without underwear with blood on top of her and you know she was pregnant it's it's a sad story for both of them um it is not necessarily a story you need to have just for the sake of having it just for the sake of being like you know they have you have to use it very well in the sense of like there has to be a message there you can just use it for for views or for you know shock value you can't okay you have to understand that you can do that right so i'm keeping my eye on where this storyline is going because for instance on the original pll there was a, a a story similar to this one where allison practically allison and emily practically got raped right and because Marlene, that's how you know by by that by that time uh, the end of the show is spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear it, stop the video right now. Emily donated her eggs, and someone implanted those eggs to like fertilize the eggs, and then implanted them on Allison, and they they had baby like baby uh, twins, baby like girls, right? twins i don't remember the names of the babies though but it wasn't carrie karen and kelly <laughs> but the, you you see where i'm going they like there they didn't care about it they just used the characters and that type of storyline for shock value for like oh let's do the crazy and, and it wasn't crazy it was just fucked up because it was abuse. It was a, a, a sexual abuse in any way you see it, right? And they never took it seriously. It was like, oh, this is a one more thing that A did, you know? And like, we're supposed to be like, oh, A, one more of your stupid things, you know? It was just treated so badly. So now they have a storyline where it seems like there is a serial rapist probably because it's the same mo right it's the same way it, it, it someone spiked the drink and then raped them right when they were alone isolated right so it could be like that it could be someone one person doing that or it could be you know sadly it could be a lot of people right uh doing this a lot of men doing this right or few men who know um, and like back in the day, who was that did that to, to, uh, Angela, right? Um, and so far the boys have not been target. Oh my God. Is that why maybe they target Karen? And not only because Karen was Karen, right a bully but also because maybe the dad did something like that to angela because the dad the sheriff is kind of of the same age as the other uh, as the original liars on this show right oh my god maybe oh my god that will be terrible um anyways so yeah Hopefully, they don't use it, like I said, for shock value. And they don't make up a crazy story on how, you know, because, like, someone comment that on my previous uh, reaction that it was like, oh, imagine if, like, Tammy's ex got stole and put on Imogen. And, like, you will think, yeah, how fucked up is that? And, like, it's because it's ironic because that's what happened on PLL. Uh, so it's just... It will be fucked up. I really hope that they treat this type of storyline well. In which is like, you know, um, not just not for shock value. But actually because you want to give a message, you know. And you want to, you know, use this type of things that happen, sadly, way too often. And just to, 
empower maybe women to speak up, right? And to, you know, when a friend tells you that, to hold that and to, you know, um, uh, hold that secret, you know, if you want to say it, and like, you know, protect it and, and, and be there and be supportive and be, you know, um, a good friend. And like that, that could also be good, right? Um, in the ways how you need to react to this type of things, right? So, yeah, I mean, only Tabby and Imogen know about this, about each other, what happened to each other. And I don't know how much they're going to reveal to the other three uh, liars, um, but it, it will be their decision if they want to share it or not. Um so we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't get out and like it's not... I don't think if a, if this A is doing this for revenge and has some sense of, you know, I need to punish the sinners. Obviously Imogen and Tabby are not sinners. And like, you know, he will not, you know, just flat out spread that and, and, and tell everyone that they, you know, that what happened to them. So... Let's see how they work that out. You know, the scenes between Imogen and Tabby were so tragic. I mean, they were awful in the sense of like how heavy the things that they were talking about were. But the chemistry between the actresses, you know, how much they were able to connect and to be vulnerable to one another. It was really sweet, you know, and it made you feel like, okay, this very fucked up thing happened to them. We cannot go back in time and stop it and prevent it. But at least they have each other now, right? And that's something that I, I, I loved, you know? And I think that, you know, encouraging women to speak up and to, you know, have your other uh, uh, girls there and your friends to support you, I think it's a very good thing and it's very important to have, you know? So I did like that. Um and Imogen and Tabby have, like, such a crazy chemistry. Like, you know, they're building it up, I feel. <laughs> the friendship, they're building it up into, I don't know what. I could go with the, they are just friends. On this episode, to me, they, like, they focus a lot on the friendship. Of course, there's chemistry, you know, because the actors they have chemistry with one another. Um, but it was just about the friendship, and I loved it. Right? I loved it. And, like, best relationships are the ones that come from being friends first. <laughs> but, like, this episode was not very shippy-ish type of thing with Imogen and Tabby. But it was a really good episode because they bonded, you know, and they talked and they... It was... It was I loved it, you know. And, and poor Tabby is st still traumatized by what happened and she gets triggered, you know, by, you know... a. a cute guy asking her to have coffee she thinks oh far ahead oh no he's gonna spike my drink he's gonna try to do this again right and she puts herself back in the situation she was a few months ago it's terrible and I feel so bad for her you know um but yeah it's just oh my god it's insane um but why didn't Imogen's mom actually went to the cops did Imogen actually talk to her mom about what really happened to her she just said oh actually I just got pregnant with a boy that I don't know I don't I have no idea because like if I'm pretty sure she didn't say anything because if she did she might have you know taken the pill right away but I don't know we don't know much more about what happened after right Anyways, what else happened on on uh, on the episode? Well, Noah and her mom, right? Her mom is an addict. I'm very happy though that Noah finally realized that she keeps enabling this and that she has to have her own life. I mean, her mom is very destructive. Most addicts are, you know, and she is not I mean, she already took the blame for her mom. She can keep covering her up. Right? Mom made mistakes. She has to own up to them. And that doesn't mean that Noah loves her any less. It's just that she loves, she has to love herself enough to see that she also has a future and that her future is not just to take care of her mom 
forever, right? So I'm sad that she's not going to rehab. But I honestly, she agree way too fast. And I was going to be like, it wasn't for the right reasons. She was not doing it for herself. She was doing it for Noah, right? Um, and that's not the right way. She has to want to do it for herself, you know? And if she hasn't hit rock bottom right now, when her daughter took the blame, went to Juby, had a, a monitor ankle thing, you know, and if that wasn't her rock bottom, I, I don't know what it will be, but I'm glad that it was Noah's and that she's going to, you know, continue with her life. Um, and try to, you know, get in, like, be on the tracks and like, you know, run and things like that. And like, you know, I'm glad though. Um, then you have, uh, mouse. Oh my God. Steve, the guy that w that she was pretending to be Rachel because like everything we said on the previous episode that she wanted to do this as a last memory for the people, right? And trying to help them because probably that happened to her. Um, it kind of was right. Uh, but the thing is that Steve is not ready to let go of, of Rachel, you know, and Mouse being Rachel, right? Um... He's not ready to let go. He's not. So he is, um, he's following her. He's stalking her. How can she tell her friends, hey, you know what? I was doing this creepy thing and this creepy guy contacted me and I went to a creepy date and went trick or treating with him and now he's following me. Like, how do you explain all of that, right? I don't know if she's going to do that and explain those things to Ash, I have no idea, but it's extremely scary what is happening to her because not only A is following her, but now Steve as well. So that is just like poor mouse, you know? I mean, she has her own traumas and I think she was trying to process them and look what happened, you know? Oh, God. Um, hopefully nothing bad happens to any of my liars because I'm very protective of them, as I said. So... Yeah. Anyways, loving the connections between PLL, PLL Original Sin, and not so much about Riverdale, though, because they were like, oh, yeah, some people went to the Sisters of Quiet Mercy. So, meaning that they are in the same universe. Oh, but, like, the shit that is happening in Riverdale. The shit that is happening in Riverdale. <laughs> Do I, like, look, Riverdale is a guilty pleasure of mine. Okay, it's just bullshit after bullshit. <laughs> that show is just insane. This season, they all had superpowers. <laughs> if you watch season one of Riverdale and then you jump without watching anything and then you jump into season six, you're going to be like, the fuck is happening? <laughs> so, no, 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 no. But because like now, if I'm, like I'm thinking, if PLL... And this PLL, original sin, are connected. And this PLL is connected to Riverdale. Then also, right? Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is also connected to... Is he... Is Roberto trying to play Monopoly with all the cities and he's taking all the towns? I don't like this. I don't... I don't... Re I don't like this. You know? Because <laughs> I don't want witches on this show. I don't want witches. Like, you can't, like, this is drama and horror. If you add supernatural things to it, imagine if next season all five liars have super... I will die. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't like the connection with Riverdale. Because Riverdale is crazy. It's crazy. Next level craziness. Okay, do I have fun watching Riverdale? Yes, I do. Will I recommend it to anyone? No. <laughs> You know, will I recommend this show to anyone? Yes, absolutely. But like, do not bring any of the weirdness of Riverdale. They had gargoyles and kings. And like, there was a cult that was st stealing, um, stealing body parts. One of them doesn't have a kidney, you know? It's just like, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> And like the guy that was running the cult, 
Oh my god. Try to like fly away on a rocket while dressed as Elvis. <laughs> so I don't need any of the craziness craziness of Riverdale to jump into this show. Please, no. But now they have the connection. <gasps> oh, imagine a crossover. Kill me. Right now. This right this instant. <sighs> I don't want it. <laughs> Leave them alone, please. Uh anyways. Loved the connection between PLL and the original PLL. I mean, PLL original sin and the original PLL. Loved it. Loved it. Right? Uh, not so much the Riverdale wine. Um, but, like, Riverdale does have one more season to go. And characters could leak in into this show. Imagine Veronica coming here and, like, I'm the she-wolf of Wall Street. I will let A kill her. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I will not do that. But like, oh, I will die. I will die. I will die. So no. Anyways, I already ranted for like, it's about to be two hours of reaction review. <laughs> so now we're in 44 minutes. I need to stop. This is what I did back in the day with PLL. I ranted. Okay. So bear with me. You're in for a ride if you're watching me. <laughs> Anyways. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. I hope you guys continue supporting. Drop all of your theories on who you think A is. Because we had an introduction of Crazy Joe. That kind of seems like he's built to be A. He hates the moms. So he has motive. Um, he was back in the day. He's on, he was the only willing to talk about it. Right? And he pointed them to Rosewood. So it could be that he is... Or maybe he's not even Crazy Joe. He is Angela's brother or something like that. Who knows at this point? Let me know, though, on the comment section down below all your thoughts and theories about this episode and what are you hoping for next season. And let me know if you are as much as a fan of the original show and if you also watch Riverdale. <laughs> because if, it's, like, same. But, like, would you want a crossover between this show and Riverdale? Like, let's be real. Like, would you want it? I will not want it. Because then they will start singing and I will, I will, I will, I will choke people. I swear. So, let me know in the comment section down below if that's something that you, you will want. I will not. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Give a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hearts, everything. Go to Patreon for the Uncut Reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for PLL Original Sin. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.